Hello everyone, so we had good news this morning. Our equipment finally came through customs and uh, all the Nicaraguan officials have been absolutely fantastic with all that. And our man on the ground has been good as well. So we're finally up at the summit of Mustaya, taking some measurements. We have a UV camera running somewhere down there, looking at the plume. And uh, in a moment I'm gonna show you the lava lake. So Messiah is one of those really strange volcanoes because you can kind of walk up, well, sorry, you can kind of drive up all the way to the summit and set up your equipment straight on the edge, which uh, I'm used to trekking a few kilometers up, up the side of a volcano. In the case of Stromboli, it's a two, three hour walk in the morning up some windy Mordor-like paths. But here we just kind of park right at the summit and get our equipment out and get going. There are some nice, I don't know whether you can see them, nice vultures there as well or some kind of meat-eating bird. So we've got our UV camera up and running. The measurement conditions aren't great for that today. A lot of cloud in the background is a bit speckled. Um, but we've got plenty of time to sort these things out now that we've got our equipment, which is fantastic. So Tom Wilkes, current PhD student at the University of Sheffield is currently in the car uh, troubleshooting the thermal camera. So the thermal camera is, uh, is working fine, it's just some of the images aren't, aren't collecting correctly. Um, so there's Tom in the car doing his work. So uh, before I did a, a Facebook live thing where I had live comments, but I'm sorry I can't do that today because it's uh, six pound a megabyte and uh, unfortunately I'm not paid that much. So I'm going to try and give you a little bit of a look at the, uh, the lava lake from a very safe podium here. Um, there are unsafer bits, but it's a little bit of an unsafe bit there. Um, so we're going to look over the side and hopefully... very vigorous overturn there um, and I'm going to try and zoom in for you so you can get a little bit of a better look at it. Oh I can't zoom in and out when I'm filming so what I'll probably do is I'll try and cut some, uh, cut some zoomed video in at this point so I can show you a, a little bit closer what's going on. Um, so this is the summit area, it's a pretty large crater and there's a lot of gas coming out of the summit area so it's all coming from that. Uh, the lava lake down there really is the, one of the most fantastic things I've ever seen at a volcano. The first time I came up, it was uh, one of the most stunning or inspiring things uh, I've ever seen um, at a volcano. And anyone who could come here, I'd, I'd thoroughly recommend it. It's, uh, it certainly took my breath away when I came up here. Um, so some of the things we're going to be doing whilst we're up here, we're going to be um, hopefully measuring the temperature of that lake um, with our, one of our low-cost thermal cameras. We're also going to be measuring the gases which are coming out using our UV cameras and I'll tell you a little bit more about uh, these things over the next few days. Um, and we're also going to be uh, videoing the lava lake surface to see what's going on with that surface. Um, and we've got a spectrometer, uh, another low cost spectrometer that we're testing. So we're using sort of Raspberry Pi type data. So this is the summit area. Um, we can see it's nice, quite large, really wide summit area. We can see the layers of, of lava which are built up over time in the in sort of the, the crater area here. So I'll give you another last look at the, uh, the lava lake there. It really is fantastic. Um, and you'll probably have an update from me in the next few days as we start honing our, our methods while we're here. So when you get to a volcano for the first time, you often have to uh, test a few things out. The best places to measure and make sure the equipment's got all the right settings. So the first day of the summit is usually um, a, sort of a, a test situation. Um, so we're, we're doing that today and then when we return tomorrow morning, probably bright and early, we'll be a lot more refined and know exactly what we're doing uh, when we get up there. Uh, so this was a first look at what I'm doing and uh, hopefully it gives you a bit of an idea uh, about sort of that diary of volcanologists, what we do in the field uh, and more from me soon. See you later.